Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today we'll be talking about a very famous command that you can use in order to manipulate files. This command is called cat. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually the cat command stands for concatenate, which means to combine files. So here I'm working on my desktop. So you can see when a file is created or manipulated live. So first let's create a file. So in order to create a file, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is to type cat, then the greater symbol, then the name of the file. I would just call it, for example, file one. Okay and then you hit enter as you can see here in my desktop file one has been created but it's empty and it's waiting for data so now i can type here in my terminal the data i want for example let's say hello world and enter how are you okay then I hit once again enter, so now I am in empty line. And in order to quit or to save that, all I have to do is to hit control plus the key D. Okay, so now my file has been created with this content. If I want to view the content of file one, all I have to do is to type cat then the name of my file which is file one as you can see the content has been displayed so let's create another file for example file 2 with the same method file 2 hit enter I enter whatever data I want for example I'm doing good thanks then Control plus T. Okay, if I want to view the content, it's pretty easy. Cut file two. Okay, so now you can view the content of both files at the same time. In order to do that, always pretty easy. Cut the name of your first file, then space the name of your second file. As you can see now showed me the content of both files so let's say that we want to create another file and this file will contain the contents of both files so it's also it's pretty easy we type just cat file 1 space file 2 then the greater symbol Okay. Then here we type the name of the third file that we want to create. Okay, file 3. Then I hit enter. As you can see here in my desktop, another file, file 3, has been created, which contains the data of both files. So if I want to verify that, all I have to do is to view its content. So file 3. As you can see, file tree now contains both files. By the way, if you want to add the uh, line numbers in the view here, you can just add here an option minus N. As you can see, it has added the line numbers. Okay. So now let's say that we want to uh, copy the content of file 1 to file 2 or in another way you want to overwrite file 2 by, by the content of file 1 so it's also pretty easy all you have to do is to type cut file 1 the greater sign file 2 so now what happens file 1 will be unchanged but file 2 will also contain the data that has been entered in file 1 
so actually file one contain how are you word how are you so file two will contain also hello world how are you okay i type enter then i want to verify that so i will display the content of file two as you can see now yes both files have the same content because i have overwritten the data inside file 2 with data inside file 1 okay so now if you remember my file tree has both two files let's say that i want to add the content of file 2 which contains hello world how are you at the end of file 3 so also it's pretty easy all you have to do is to type cut file 2 Okay. and the double greater sign and I want to add the contents of file 2 to file 3 okay so now file 3 will contain this phrases here four lines plus two lines from file 2 okay so let's verify that cat file as you can see it has added or appended the content of file 2 to the end of file 3 so that was a very interesting thing to do using the cat commands I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye